In this channel we have always stood out for always mentioning the positive in everything that happens in the Power Rangers franchise, but like everything in life, where there are good things, there are also bad things. It is impossible that in 30 years of history everything could be perfect and although we can recognize the great effort made by the producers of the series, we must always admit when things are not good. This does not mean that everything we mention in this video is conclusive since we all have different tastes and I always say it in the videos. In this video we are going to mention which were the worst seasons of Power Rangers, but this does not mean that they are a total failure, they are just not the best. Leave in the comments which have been for you the worst seasons that you have seen of the Power Rangers. Let's start with Ninja Steel, one of the worst seasons in history with a terrible script despite having good actors. It should be noted that the theme of the ninjas had already been used and it was a very worn out idea, so it was lousy that they made the decision to adapt this theme. The problems that the rangers have in each episode are the center of each story and the solution to that problem is the one that must be incredible to make a spectacular episode. The problem this season had is that the solutions to these problems were very silly and even though Power Rangers is not meant for adults, it was still a terrible script. On top of all this, this season had Victor and Monty, two of the worst characters in the entire franchise, although personally, for me, I still think Jayborg is worse. Leave in the comments if you want a list of the worst Power Rangers characters and tell me which one is the worst for you. The next season is Turbo and even though this series has some good things, the bad things are too many and almost killed the franchise. Even Sabin has said that Power Rangers in Space are the ones that saved the franchise and in Space was released after the failure of Turbo. You obviously can't save something that isn't in danger, so, if the In Space series were the saviors of the franchise, it's because the previous series almost destroyed the franchise. We can start with the theme of the series, and that is that many do not understand that the theme of the season is one of the most important things in the series. It may not be the most important thing, but it's the beginning of everything, and if you start with the wrong step, then it's going to be harder to straighten the path later. Turbo had the theme of the cars, and the problem is that when fans watch a show, they don't want to see something that is already in the world, they want to see something out of this world, something that is not commonly seen. Maybe they were different cars with powers and that could be transformed, but they were still cars and that's something you see every day in the streets. Another thing we can point out is that there were already rangers that were in several seasons, and this causes you to get bored of the characters that you have seen for so many years. It doesn't matter if those characters were good, the important thing is that fans got tired of seeing them again. Let's talk now about Mystic Force, one of the worst issues in the history of Power Rangers and Disney came to destroy the franchise with its magic. I want to highlight two things that I liked about this season. To me the costumes seem to be the best and the Rangers Solaris Knight, White Mystic and Wolf Warrior are also characters that I liked. Unfortunately, these characters were thrown away as their costumes don't match the season, their powers don't match the season either and having three special Rangers in one season is a waste. Everything else about this series was terrible, including the character development and the script. When a character gets to become a ranger, 
They are always grateful and surprised as being a ranger has always been a mystery and an honor for anyone. However, we have a pink ranger who complained because she didn't like that pink was her color. We also have a red ranger who didn't believe in magic, rather silly since the theme of the season is magic. The next season is Megaforce, and here we can include Super Megaforce since they are the same characters and basically the same story. It's unfortunate that one of the best costumes in the whole franchise is wasted in one of the worst stories. I know there are many fans who don't like these costumes, but in my opinion, I do like them as they are different and have good color combinations and designs. The important thing is that this season could not develop their characters well and many fans have been complaining that this story seems a copy of Mighty Morphin in certain things, like for example the Blue Ranger. Another thing they did wrong in this season is that they used many scenes from the Japanese series and what the production said is that they did it this way to reduce costs. We all know that the beginning of the failure of any series or movie is when they want to reduce costs because that causes the poor quality of the final product. Finally. We must say that they were talking about the legendary battle in many episodes and in the end, it only lasted several minutes, this was a serious mistake. The only thing we can save from this season is the Yellow Ranger. All of these series are terrible, but the worst of all time is still Operation Overdrive. You can search all over the internet on all the lists of worst seasons and Operation Overdrive is always going to show up on every list. Maybe the other seasons aren't on some list, but this season is always going to be there. This is no coincidence and this season started out being terrible from its name, its logo, its costumes and all the visuals. The saddest thing of all is that this is the second season on this list where they are celebrating an anniversary as this season celebrated their 15th anniversary. This season has the worst thing that any entertainment production can have and that is that it doesn't have exactly that, entertainment. Operation Overdrive is listed as the most boring season of all according to many fans and it is the most mentioned in all the lists. I want to know what your opinion is, so write in the comments your list of the worst Power Rangers seasons and the worst characters. If you think any of these seasons deserves to be on this list, like this video, and subscribe for more Power Rangers lists.